All right, today I'm gonna be changing the pickup tube seal on my oil pump. And what's happening on my truck is I get uh, low oil pressure whenever I'm at idle. So I'll be driving and whenever I come to a stop, my oil pressure will drop down to zero. Uh, it drops down to zero, I get the warning line, and all I have to do is uh, rev the engine a little bit and increase RPMs and it goes away. And so uh, I determined that it is this seal that is a problem. And the way that I determined that was simple. Okay, so when you're level, the pickup tube seal is above the oil. And if it has a bad seal, it'll suck air and give you low oil pressure, okay? But when you're at an angle, that seal is now submerged in oil and will, will not be sucking air and your pressure will stabilize. So to test this, uh, you can either jack up the rear of your truck or find a hill and come to a stop. If your pressure stays above 20 PSI, you know the issue is your seal. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a chore. So once you're down here, this cross beam right here is coming out. This cross beam in the front is coming out. And that's basically just a matter of taking those bolts off here. Taking these bolts off and these bolts and then this comes down you're going to obviously uh, drain your oil here's your oil plug and oil filter and then you're going to go to taking all these bolts out to hold this oil pan in take this one off the side take all i don't know what size it is i got to check the size you got to pull these out of the front these out of the front um all of these little ones like I said, I can't remember exactly what size they are. I'm going to have to check once I start taking them out. And then these lines here, the way you can take these out is just take this bolt off over here. And there's like a little clip that's holding these. And these will move off to the side. So you don't have to actually take these out of here. And then uh, you just move them out of the way back here and get to the bolt on that side. And then you, you'll drop this oil pan and you should be able to get to the pickup tube. So I'm going to start working on these bolts. I'm going to skip, uh, I'm not going to record actually changing the oil. There's another video on that. And then I'll just get to taking out the bolts. Alrighty. Okay, so the oil's drained. I got the plug back in. I just put a rag over here just so I can stomp that little dripping. Now we're going to take this cross beam off and these are 18 millimeter bolts. They go all the way through, so just get uh, an open end wrench on one end and your ratchet on the other. And you might have to smack this down a little bit to get it off. And we'll go from there. Okay, so this thing didn't want to come out right away. So what I ended up doing was getting this guy. Let's see if I can show you. took out the bolts and I just shoved this back here and pried it down and it's that easy and then just do the same with that one if you have like some kind of pry bar or something you should be able to get it down okay so now that this cross beam is off you have a lot of you have much better access here these are 10 millimeter bolts so just goes through and start taking all these bolts out these are 15 millimeters through the front here. 15 millimeter, which is the same size you use to uh, get that drain plug out for the oil. So you shouldn't have that ready. So just start taking all these bolts out. Remember, there's some bolts here on the side that go into the side for these covers. And then don't forget about this clip here, right there, that bolt. And. Uh, there's still oil on this, so even when you drain it, there's still going to be some oil in it, so just be pre prepared for that. And I'll start recording when I get this off. Alright, so all these bolts are pretty easy to take off. I mean, you don't really need any kind of special instruction. Now, this one over here in the corner, and this one over here just wanted to give you a quick heads up you're gonna want one of these 10 millimeter get one of these little swivels 
and you'll be able to get that bad boy in there size and hook that one up and then these back here i'll get to those in a second so to get to those other bolts that i was talking about you got to take this front cover off so these are 15 millimeter bolts take them off here boom so you're looking at the front of the truck I'm taking this guy off so check it out once you take that cover off you can stick your head up in here once you take the cover off you can stick your head up in here and you have access to these back bolts so I left one bolt in in the front so that this thing wouldn't fall on me um, I should have probably put two so I'm gonna leave two bolts I'll put another one I'll put another bolt over here I got one here and I'll put another one over here so that would take these off it doesn't fall on me which I doubt it will but you never know so just take these bolts off there's another bolt coming in on the side right here holding this uh this plastic bracket on that holds the wires so just be mindful of that Alrighty. all right so it's loose now um so i left one bolt in here one bolt in there and i literally just took a screwdriver in in between here and just kind of pried it open and popped the seal on all of these on, all around the around the whole entire oil pan now i'm not sure if that's going to be in the way i'm going to try to take this off with that on okay so i had to push this i did have to disconnect this um but if you, as you can see over here at its connection point it actually can swivel it can actually move around so once you disconnect this guy you just got to move it out of the way and it It'll, it'll move without you damaging it, as you can tell here. So move this out of the way, and then once you got this out of the way, you can drop this down, because that'll be, the oil pan will be hitting that. And now, here we go. There's not a lot, I thought there was going to be a lot of oil leaking down from here, but there's actually nothing. So here's your pickup tube. My screen looks pretty clean, actually. And then we're going to take this bolt off, and then these two bolts off over here for the uh or actually there's only one right there for the oil pump and then this pickup tube will come out and we'll change that seal out okay so here it is here's the source of all my problems here's the seal and i don't know if you can tell but right here it's a little raised so it wasn't making a nice flat seal. I don't know if I did that when I pulled it out. But it's coming out. Put a brand new one in there. And this thing broke when I took it off. Because it's not brittle. So it definitely needed to get changed out. See it shouldn't be this brittle. So it wasn't it wasn't making a good seal. And I barely use any force to, to put it off, to take it off, so definitely this guy it looks like this thing went on bad from the beginning look at the mark the seal made it was never laying down flat at all see in all this other around the other edge it's nice and flush and then when it gets to this section the seals raised so it was never making a good seal since it was first installed Wow And my engine oil pressure should be great now that I replace it. So here's my new seal. Make sure it's laying down flat. And I'm gonna slap it on right now and then work on the oil pan because I gotta change out change out the gasket. So I put the pickup tube back in and uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I lubricated the seal with oil and then I lubricated the pickup tube the tip where it was gonna where the seal was gonna sit I lubricated that with oil and so when I put it in there the first bolt that I I didn't tie up these nuts but the first bolt that I tied up was that one down there so I put the tube in there I placed these nuts in there they were loose and then I made sure that this was seated in there nice and uh, with a little bit of pressure 
and then I tightened up that bolt, that 10 millimeter bolt. So I'm pretty confident that that seal is sitting in there nice and tight and it's not all jacked up like it was when it was first installed. And I went ahead and tightened these, these are 13 millimeters. And the next, the next thing you gotta do is, there's RTV sealant from uh, the uh, oil pan here when I installed the gasket before because I had a leak on here so I had to replace it. So what I gotta, I'm gotta do is I'm gonna clean this contact surface all the way around with the razor blade up there in that corner so that this is nice and clean. And then I'm gonna go to work on this oil pan. I'm replacing the gasket. So I'm gonna take this gasket off, clean the contact surface, and clean the inside of the oil pan so it's nice and clean. And then reinstall it and uh, go from there. And I'll show you how I, how I do that. Okay, so now that I have the seal chains out and the pickup tube installed, it's time to repair the oil pan. Um, you don't want to just slap the, the pan back on. You want to change out the gasket as well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take out the uh, the old rivets. There's one there and one there. And a 1 8 drill bit will do the trick. And then once you take the uh, once you take the gasket out, you're going to clean you're going to want to clean the surface of the pan. So I'll use a razor blade and just make sure that it's nice and clean. Um, and you want to clean the inside of the oil pan. You want to take this cover off. Um, these are 10 millimeter bolts. Take the cover off and um, get all that gunk and stuff that's inside of there. And what I use is I use this degreaser that I got at AutoZone and just spray it in there. Let it sit. Let it eat up that oil and then just wipe it out with some uh, with some rags and then when you get the new gasket on it's easier to install if you put the rivets back on there um, so just go ahead and put two more rivets on there and it'll be a lot easier for you to install that with no leaks all right so this guy's clean um, I made sure I cleaned the surface of this really well scraped any seal any uh, RTV sealant with the the razor blade uh, clean the inside with the degreaser and now the next step is going to be to apply the gasket again put some rivets in it and put some RTV sealant and then go up in there and install it all right okay so I'm gonna install this gasket and what I did to make sure that the holes line up, I ran some bolts through from the bottom. Because I'm going to use the, the rivets and rivet this down to secure this before I, uh, before I mount it. The book says you don't have to, um, but I found that, that it was easier to install yeah, with these riveted down so this thing doesn't move. Okay, and I use uh, 1 8 uh, rivets, 1 8 steel rivets, uh, with a little rivet gun that I got from, uh, I think I got it from Harbor Freight. So now this thing's on there, and so now when I go to install it, and I gra grab this oil pan and throw it up there, this thing won't be moving around. It's going to stay in place, and so everything's pretty much lined up. It's clean, it's about as clean as I want it. I wasn't really too worried about like uh, these stains and now the next step is going to be to install it I got my torque specifications in my book and I'm ready to go RTV sim looks a little shitty but it should work and now I'm gonna just put it on the corners and now I'm gonna slap this sucker back on I got my oil pan back on and I got all the bolts on except for the two that are back here in and they're all a uh, little snug I barely put any pressure on them because I want to torque them up and then before I start torquing them though I'm gonna, I'm gonna install these two bolts here and then have those hand tight or maybe just a little snug and then I'm gonna torque them with the start pattern so I'll start here then, then here then that corner this corner uh, 
there, there, and you know the drill. So I'll go in a star corner, star pattern, uh, starting at the corners at uh, 18 foot pounds. And then once I got all these torqued up, then I'll just torque the two on the back over there. It shouldn't really matter if those aren't part of the star pattern. So, And then I'll install my oil filter. My plug's already in there nice and tight. I'll refill it with oil and hope to God that everything works. Alrighty. All right, so I just tightened everything up. I torqued everything down below, put my oil filter in, put the oil back in. Dang, my truck is dirty. It's gonna get washed next. And now I actually just ran it and checked for leaks. There are no leaks down below, but I just wanna show what the oil pressure is supposed to look like. So before, before I changed out the seal with my truck up on the ramps like this, the Rhino ramps, at an angle the front up my oil pressure would drop down to way below like 20 now check it out <laughs> 40 40 psi and so right now the truck is at an angle up like this and that uh that seal is not below the oil the oil is well below that seal that seal um is exposed to air it's not it's not underneath the oil and it has a perfect seal because that oil pressure is staying staying up there in 40 and like I said before it would dip all the way down to zero so it was definitely that seal um, I'm gonna take it off the ramps get it nice and level and then go from there and see what it looks like but it already looks a hundred times better